Welcome back my Nakamas and today we have something new Purple Rise and Shine Now one purple deck coming out with the Eryx 5 and BT15 coming out This deck's getting a little bit of support on new purple decks coming into the meta right now And we have a clutch um, We have an Ryugiumon A purple deck Rise and Shine and I... I love when purple decks coming and coming into the tier 1. This deck is pretty cool and I'll show you guys why. But first, right, left, hit up the thumbs up button for more awesome content and subscribe because we are giving one display if we hit this milestone. Send it to all you, your friends, guys. Let's see how Digimon are performing and shining and like. And let me know what is your favorite purple card. It can be EX04 right now, uh, before one, or in the, the next future sets. I'm hyped about the new Melga. And yeah. With uh, Magic Mats as my support and easy, you get your Clove Mats in a really good positioning in Europe. You spare 5% with Digital Swipe. Thank you much guys for the huge support. Or you can win as well a mat. A mat worth 60 euro or a display worth 80. What you guys want. That's no problem at all. And let's go into this nice deck profile. Okay, we're now at the deck profile. We start off with our egg, Baumon. Baumon says, you sadly can't see because my camera is there, but let's say you. Um, use a winning Digimon card with Dark Animal Sock Trade is trashed from your hand. This Digimon might digivolve into that card, uh, which makes it pretty cool. And we got uh, our uh, rookie. Um, the start of your main phase effect is by placing one AG Nagasumi, this is your tamer, um, from your hand or trash under this Digimon. As it's uh, bottom dilution card, you gain more memory. And you turn once per turn when a uh, new card with um, the animal Dark Star trait is uh, played, you gain one memory as well because you can play out cards then. What makes it pretty cool to have your tamer out. I have some rookie for you guys that you can play. You can play Gazimon because a lot of people play Memory Boost. I know they're playing right now the digital training, but they're playing as well Memory Boost. They're having more, search, uh, more consistent search power, and Evo Dex lacking off that since we got digital training. It is a boost per percentage wise, yes, it is, but with memory, um, with a memory. Um, the blue memory boost or something like that in uh, Mirage Gao Gamon, you played it as well. So you have that. If you are scared of when you go whiteboards for Defixmon, I would say you can play Psymon as a one or two off in your deck. And you are prevented for that. And you need to destroy it, what makes it pretty important. And what you can play is uh, Drugmon or Pascomon. Uh, Drugmon um, as. A free off as well as, as you should play this as a free off. You can play both if you want to, and you have your consistent line with the Logamon. But if you want to play Gas Upsetmon, you need to cut them, and as well as your Fascomon. And um, then we playing the Fangmon. On play when you can return one purple Digimon card with that animal threat from your trash um, to your hand, then trash one card. So you can cycle if you're hitting something with Analog Boy and trash that. You can add your pieces back. What makes this pretty cool is your hard play or when you're attacking. Then we got the Lugamon getting a nice promo at um, the worst qualification as well, what's pretty cool, and other version from it. Um, when thinking about treasuring one card from your hand, draw one card. Um, if AG is in the distribution cards, game of memory, what are you then having uh, with um, the Lugamon, but you don't want to attack, but if your hand are bricky, you're kind of forced into that. And you turn once per turn when um, you card with Dark Animal or Sock Trade is played, you gain more memory as well as your rookie. So you're gaining additional memory if you play something out. Or you don't get punished for that. Then Black Automon, it is nice to have Rush, and if you evolve over Gatomon and head with Radiation, you have to deal something, but you use the card to rush and swing at your opponent. Then we got the Hellogramon. Um, this card is pretty cool. It says, end of your turn, delete the Sigmon and draw two cards. Then you might return one Logamon from your trash to your hand. On deletion, you might trash up to three cards with the Dark Animal Sock Trait in your hand. Then delete one of your opponent's level three or low Digimon. For each card is trashed by this effect, add up the maximum level um, of the Sigmon you can choose by this effect. What is pretty cool. So, trashing additionally gives you more potential to power to delete something and fill up your trash um, to have the momentum to play something out what you need. Then we got the Sol Logramon. 
When did you evolve in my play? One level three or lower card with dark animal sock trade for me trash without paying its memory cost. If EG in this evolution card, you can add one maximum level so you can play your level four um, Fangmon on play. Use the on play effect. What well, is pretty cool. And then you turn once per turn when a card with dark animal sock trade is played, you might unsuspend this Digimon. So it's pretty nice. If you swing with it in the into opponent's security um, when attacking, then um, you can trash one card and gain one. And if you swing with the inherited effect, you can unsuspend it, what makes it pretty cool. So like Garum online, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, if you have Blackguardo and swing with it and have a Fangmon do a hard play, you can go into Chimeramon or skip a level four, um, level five evolution if you don't have one and do some pressure. You can add one card at um, your Chimeramon under it. What you have then is a, um, either retaliation or other stuff you can pick from your Digimon, which makes it pretty cool. Then your boss monster, Feng Logamon. When did you evolve in my play? One level four, lower card with the Dark Animal Suck trade for the trash without playing its memory cost. If EG uh, Nagasumi is in the evolution source, you can add the effect of the number of two. So you can play another Feng Logamon if you want to, um, but it's not necessary. When attacking once per turn by deleting one of uh, by deleting one of your opponent's level three or lower Digimon, uh, unspend this Digimon for each of your Digimon at the maximum level of the Digimon you choose with this effect. So you go wide with the board and that's the reason why that fixed mod is an answer to your board and then you have side mod on board and it's pretty easy. Um, you, you turn the condition to end the turn becomes your opponent having three or more memory. So we can play in our opponent's turn what makes this deck pretty nice. So here's the effect um, if you guys, uh, I'm sorry, if you guys want to. Okay, my camera's in the way. Okay, but yeah, I told you. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's pretty nice. It, it, it makes pretty fun to play that. Playing out stuff, deleting your opponent's feet, unsuspending, swinging, unsuspending, swinging. What makes pretty cool. You can, well, if you don't play Sightmon, just to mention, can play Defixmon versus Mirror Match. Because you can delete something, then play Defixmon. Or versus Commander Mon and stuff like that. That makes this pretty, pretty amazing. Or like blue flare and stuff of course they can stun more but you have a lot, a lot of white board that they can stun or you play in room mode like right now room mode is pretty intense to play in some of decks um as the venus control deck um to stun your opponents that the geogramon got hit with that but i think it's an also okay 1.5 deck and room mode it spikes a lot of hell jesus miss memory boost to fill your grave and draw one and for the delay gain two memory like I said, memory boost and the training, you know what they're doing. You can reveal the top two cards and put purple cards among them and delay. You can reduce the evolution cost by two. Pretty amazing for two memory. Then we got to our tamer. Um, uh, security, you can play this card as an, uh, every tamer effect. Start of your main phase. If your opponent has a Digimon, you gain more memory. What is pretty cool. Main, you have the main link, then you can put it under your um, rookie level and gain um, so under your rookie level and gain more memory. What is pretty cool, so you got two memory for free. That's the reason because you don't have a memory tamer deck. And for the level five, uh, if you play it in swing, um, if you have a level four and then play it and then evolve and you swing on getting the effect on deletion, you can do that with the analog youth as well. Uh, trigger that or with the easily Shigram on room mode and it search and fills up a search a card for you attached again. And it fits your grave for positionally cards you can add back into your hand because you can add back with the level four cards if you're bricking or you can add up your grave to a special summon like in Yu-Gi-Oh! Like revive them back. Yeah, this deck plays itself for the list. Uh, in the next step we get the new X antibody what you can play and some new X stuff with Dobermon X and you can maybe you can play Dobermon and Dobermon X in the deck. So a little bit of support and BT15 got support more. I will pick on the deck because it's really cool and it's tier 1 potential. It can beat security control, <laughs> like I told you. Uh, just um, play it a little bit and then you know why. It's pretty amazing and it makes it pretty fun to play. Yeah, I will recognize that as a tier 1 deck as in my easily um, tier list. That was the deck list. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you have anything on the list what you um, it brought improved to that, um, let me know in the comment section down below. I will play deck for myself um, and would like to love to learn every new step because we are not every champion. We are all players to like to improve. Thank you guys for watching. Stay healthy as always. You're Sankey.